The ball of pain from social media influence in the last election just keeps unraveling, and now a story originally reported by Bloomberg makes Google and Facebook look so much worse. It will all help if you take a look at this video from Secure America Now, a conservative nonprofit group. Bloomberg explains the group was launched in 2011 to oppose the construction of a community center and mosque in Manhattan near the site of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. And this ad ran in swing states like North Carolina and Nevada before the 2016 election. It shows France and Germany supposedly overrun by extreme Muslims with the Mona Lisa painted over in a niqab. And the gross part is this. The American-led campaign was allegedly aided by direct collaboration with employees at Facebook and Google. Bloomberg says it used internal ad agency reports from Harris Media and interviews with five people involved in the efforts to report the story. Those sources say that Facebook and Google sales teams worked closely with Secure America Now to improve its targeted multi-million dollar ad campaigns. But Google eventually pulled a number of the ads because they violated company policies. Facebook's, quote, eager sales team supposedly went as far as using Secure America Now's ads to test a new vertical video format. Facebook also worked with Germany's far-right Alternative for Germany party to target voters with anti-immigration ads. A Google spokesperson responded to the news by saying it has strict policies that govern where they allow Google ads to appear and enforce them vigorously. It said, quote, when we find ads that violate these policies, we immediately disapprove and stop showing them. Google also noted that it is constantly evaluating its ads and that its policies are based on principles which can evolve and change over time. We'll be back tomorrow with more Engadget today.